game. It snowball. I mean, we were talking about the fact that Secret they might not want to pick a jungler because uh, the lane's going to be pretty strong for C deck, and and they pick this techies. Yeah. Uh, so the lanes, the lanes are going to be arguably kind of hard, don't you feel, for Secret against C deck? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, indeed. But they, they are already out of the group, right? So this game technically doesn't matter to them. Is that right? Uh, yeah, well, I imagine so, yeah. I, I'm not quite sure how the format runs, but yeah, they've won three games and this is the final game, so I'm pretty uh, sure, yeah. They must be through. They're, they're top of the group, yeah. Do look at the techies items. What's it? <laughs> oh, but Venom techies! Okay! Oh, dear. Oh, Winter. I don't know what we're going to see today, but this... this... I'm, I'm out. <laughs> if Secret win this, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a BM play against C deck, and they're not going to be too happy, but... I'm sure well, S4 on his Quap, you know, Puppy on his Dazzle. you got Zion on his good old Tusk, and, of course, Mr. Artor on the PL. They're, they've definitely got the potential to take this game, but uh, C-Deck, they're going to be playing a little bit harder than, than the side of uh, Secret, potentially, but uh, we'll see as we get ourselves into this game. Of course, best of one here at the Mars Dota League. It's myself, Vody Pixel, joined here by Winter. And so, Lane Boys look for the side of C-Deck. It looks like they're... I mean, how are they going to run this here? They're going to put. They, I imagine they're going to move Shiki over to the mid lane, and uh, Q, of course, is going to be on the support Lena. And and it looks like, as you said, it's going to be this kind of dual lane, at least from the uh, Undying and the Spirit Breaker on the yeah. off lane. This is going to be the pressure lane, the yeah. Dirge plus Spirit Breaker, and they're going to have the Lena supporting the Ember, which still has a lot of kill potential, searing chains into the light strike, right? So the lanes are looking really good for CDEC for now. Indeed, and we'll see what the side of oh, Secret can do against this. So, so Winter, are you, are you very kind of uh, seasoned on the old techies? Do you know what we can kind of come to see uh, Kuroko do this I, I, game I, on this? I Kuroko think do? techies is really good with uh, against a mass melee lineup. So it's actually looking pretty decent against this lineup. I would say techies. He might do a lot of work, and with the snowball factor as well. So I'm not sure what will happen. Let's see what. What, what skill point did he take? Oh, he hasn't taken a skill point. They're going to try a first bird with Suicide, with Snowball. Uh, let's see if they do that indeed. Who they got in this lane? They've got an Ember Spirit. Fairly squishy here. Only 549 HP to play with. He has got the backup of Q here on the yeah. leader in the sidelines. But uh, here we go. Snowball in, but wow. straight away the sleight of fist dodge. Very next level play there from Aggressive. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was a big play. And he, nice. took, he took Suicide already, so the Suicide wouldn't be that useful in the next couple of seconds. Needs to wait for the next snowball. Oh, Kuroki. He's, he's taking a light strike around a few punches here as well. He doesn't need to be careful. He, he's fine, though. He came to lane with four tangos, so he'll be able to keep himself topped up. Mid lane, S4 already having a pretty good time against Shiki. Oh, first bird. Oh, he missed it. Oh, God. Yeah, I went to the I, I, mid was, lane. I was keeping my camera on top. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, Kuroki didn't manage to find first bird there with a the suicide onto aggressive. So, okay. So, a one for one trade, but of course, being the suicide, it's all good. All things said and done. Secret there with the first blood. A very good start to this game. And apologies, chat, for the T tours there, because I was just keeping an eye on S4 in the mid lane. He was having a pretty good time against the TA. I say pretty good. He's eight for two against Shiki's two for zero. So, S4 absolutely dominating that lane in the mid. Yeah, that's like the presence of the sentry. I'm not sure if he used... Oh, he still hasn't used the sentry because he realized he didn't take melt. I guess because he saw the sentry, then he didn't take level 1 melt against Queen of Pain. And he's, he's, he's not he's just stacking up those refractions in Zest. They're and trying to deal with this crop spam, but... He's going to have a tough time. Yeah. Because this matchup is really hard if you don't do well in the first two ways as a TA. Wow, that blink. Indeed, S4 might be in trouble here. One more hit will bring him down. Gets himself up to the high ground here. Will be able to back away from Shiki. So S4 oh, keeping no. his life. The and uh, The Undying is coming for the courier. <laughs> oh, can Garda get a little wrap around here? He's going to maybe just look for a decay here. But the bottles returns to S4. He should be all right. And Garda, hello. Hello, that's a kill. That's a, that's maybe a kill. He still rips himself up the right click with the double damage and the dagger. What? How many points has he got in the dagger? It's two points in the dagger. All right, it's going to bring him low. But I don't think it's going to bring him low enough. It's going should to be, be very fine. close. Yeah. yeah, he should be fine. There's still stick charges, but uh, yeah. that was a close call there for S4. But he's oh, here we go. Top lane. They're going in again. Kuroki and Zion to two with the ice shards. They've brought down the Lina. Kuroki is trying to do what he can here with the right clicks. He hasn't got suicide. He will end up going down into a slight of fist. And now Zai. Yeah, he's going to be fine. There's no mana on aggressive. He can't do anything else with the combo. But uh, another one for one trade there, the techies for the Lina. It's legit, right? Snowballing the techies. <laughs> Even without suicide. <laughs> It's, it still works out somehow. 
I mean, hey, you got to be honest. It's it's not going as bad as it could be in terms of the lanes. I mean, Artsy down in the bottom lane. He's having a grand old time. Mid lane, as we we're saying, S4. He's finding the farm. And the secret looking pretty strong here in the early game against the side of C deck. Yeah, they're doing really well in the lanes, which I thought they would have actually under be under more pressure. But the Undying moving away definitely gave the PL a lot of space to farm. If you look at the last hits, I, I expected him to have a little less than 16 at around this time. But he's doing really good for the lane he's put in. He is indeed a mid lane still. S4 just keeping Shiki down here. Shiki has got the three bold charges though. It's going to be okay. Quap is down to zero, but he's coming out to the four minute room. Should be able to see S4 secure that for the team. Bottom lane. Wow. Arteezy will double going away. He got bashed twice. <laughs> oh, and good old 17% there. Working against the side. Maybe 71%, not 17 <laughs> 71. <sometimes. laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a, missed, a bit of a missed type winner. Volvo put in the old stats. And Kuroki, he's got the soul ring now, so he's going to be able to get those mines out. Aggressive, trying to go in here with the flame guard onto Zai. Q. Oh, nice snowball dodge his trade onto Q. They're going to be able to blow him up. Kuroki's got the suicide. Man. He'll pop it. He's got a double kill here as they bring them both down. And snowball <laughs> mines. Snowball mines. One kill on the Lina and the suicide yeah. on the other. Man. And Ember is like one of the few agility heroes which has a very low base armor. So suicide is extremely yeah. good against him. Yeah, this is, this is, I mean, the, yeah, the techies is working out, Winter. He's got four kills under his belt, four and a half I, minutes I, in. I remember the last time this happened was the group game in DAC against Cloud9, yeah. where they pick it, where they already qualified for the next round, and they picked techies and they won. Against Jackie Mao. <laughs> oh, God, he wouldn't have been happy about that, Jackie. He would not have been happy about losing to a techies, and I don't see that would be either. I mean, so far, things looking very good for Secret. Top of the board in terms of CS, three members of the side of Secret. C-Deck certainly losing out in the laning stage, which is surprising looking at their draft. We obviously expected a lot from them. There's going to be a charge onto Kuroki here. He's, he's going to set up the mines here. Uh, has oh, this no, been... is he going to stand in the mines? No. Oh, is, is this going to be next? Come on, Kuroki. Can he do it? No, the mines. Oh, no! he's trying to move towards him. He's trying to get towards the mines, but the light striker and the dragons, they go through. He's trying to bring XE over them, but XE knows. He's going to keep himself safe. Light fist flies through across the tree line, but Kuroki's going to be able to bottom himself up. Undying has gone down on the bottom lane to the BL, and uh, the fights still continue up here. Light striker Ray will find Kuroki. They do bring him down. The mines are still sitting there, and well, they'll be taken down now thanks to this sentry placement from the side of C deck. They will be able to remove these stacked Man. mines. Just uh, look at the way they were moving there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the very nice was placement. Wrong. This the guy is a techies player. This guy <laughs> is a oh, Azai. He, he wants some, eh? He's going to go in for a snowball here onto Q. And well, with the Warrior Sponge as well, bringing him low, but there's going to be the charge from XZ. Aggressor's coming in as well. Zai will find the kill on Selena there with the Ice Shards. But now Zai could be in a bit of trouble here as we do see the Searing Chains coming out from Aggressive with the Flame Guard, the Slider Fist as well. They do bring down the Tusk. So another one-for-one -one trade there on the top lane between the sides. Yeah, but like what you said, they expected the mines there considering the positioning from the techies and it was a very good heads up play from the Spirit Breaker and the Lina. Yeah, but me meanwhile, cool. Papio is playing really greedy with his Dazzle. He's constantly like quick pulling and he uses the heal on the wave so he gets... He's very high level right now from the Dazzle, like level 5 at 6 minutes as a support pulling. And Arteezy now with the Lancey onto Garda might be able to go for this one. There's going to be a Tombstone drop down. Arteezy trying to chase the one down. Garda, he's trying to do what he can to keep himself topped up with the Solra. There'll be a TP in from Shiki on the TA. Maybe they can catch out Artur here with the trap slow. There's going to be Lina coming in as well. The doppelganger forward from Arteezy down the lane. Trying to escape. Puppy could be in trouble. He's got the heal. He's also got a Shallow Grave available here. We'll be able to get it off. Trying to head into the side shop to pick up a TP. He has got one, but he won't end up using it because he knows that he can't get out of this one. And will be decayed yeah, down there by the Undying. There's a Lina coming in as well, so there was no way that he was going to manage to grave TP out. So that was too bad for him, but at least they didn't lose the carry. So, I mean, they rotated three oh heroes my. and they didn't lose Arteezy. And at the same time, Techies, Kuroki Did he got himself suicide? another kill. It, no. no, he didn't even need to use it. I think he must have just gone in here with Zion, managed to find the final tick on to uh, the Ember Spirit, but Kuroki, five for four at the moment, and he has, he has got the suicide available. So if they want to go for a snowball action here, they, they could certainly try it, because Ember... Mm. Oh. Mid lane as well. Mid lane, they're going in for S4 though. Not sure if they can chase him down. Yeah, Q positioned very aggressively. He will be able to get the burst damage onto him. And there we go with the charge. But at the same time, we did miss, sorry, another kill on the top lane. Kills happening left, right, and center. And dying also falling as well on the bottom lane. Literally a kill happening on every lane, favoring the side of Secret as it's a two for so, one. So, it was a remote mine plus snowball plus forest punch. And middle lane... 
Yeah, more oh. action indeed. Zai snowballing forward. We'll be able to find the final touch onto Q, bringing down the Lina. Eggsy looking for the bashes. Won't be able to find them this time. But 10 to 7 between these two sides. Eight minutes in. Secret looking pretty strong. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> This is, uh, I, I don't know, I really don't know. This is, I mean, I never, I don't remember the last game I cast it where there's been someone dying on every lane at the same time. This is, this is pretty damn crazy, this match. And, and uh, I think, well, Secret at least, are having a lot of fun with it with their draft. Yeah, definitely. Kuroki is the one that has the most fun. And <laughs> are they going to kill the Ember again? Oh, and they've still close. got the suicide. They've just not needed to use it. I mean, if the oh, snowball oh, connects, no. <laughs> get myself out of it. Aggressive <laughs> says they won't be able to chase it down as they don't have the mana here for the ice shards. But uh, yeah, this is this is some very aggressive play from Secret. I mean, we thought the side of C deck would be aggressive, and what they're trying to be here on the bottom lane here is Tombstone's going to get dropped. Guard is going to try and chase down Artsy here. Spirit Breaker has got the charge now. Is he going to look to use it here? It doesn't look like they want to dive the tower here. And Secret, they're going to be okay for the time being. He's gonna charge middle though. I'm not sure if they can get the kill this uh, on the Queen of Pain here. They need to land the chains. Chains plus charge. Let's see, he's got the mana for chains in a few seconds. Oh. But, oh, they just can't catch out the S4 Quap. And meanwhile, bottom lane, Lina, sorry, did manage to find the kill there onto Arteezy. I can only imagine was being a little bit too greasy there with that, greedy there with that play. And uh, they were able to burst him down. Without the use of the Laguna Blade though as well. So Q has got that for the next round. Man, no one is gonna come top. Top is like the minefield area. They totally abandoned top lane. And they, they really have. Where do they put the Ember now? Ember, well, he's yeah, running back to base. In terms of CS, it's in base round of 28, but still in terms of uh, comparison to the side of Secret, it's not looking good. 47 for 11 on your S4 Quat. You got 39 for 6 on your Artor PL. And of course, on the Zai, Tusk as well, looking pretty healthy. 39 for 2 and well. Oh, hello. He's gonna look to TP out here. Will he be able to get away? No, he oh, won't there with the, the heal, heal bomb. bomb. Too much Damn. physical damage. <laughs> oh boy. Now, now look at this. C deck, they're not happy. They're sending everyone down to this bottle lane saying, We've got to do something about this here. Exy, he's thinking about charging in. He's gonna he's not gonna go for it for the time being aggressive. Looking for the slight face, uh, slight fist searing chase combo here onto Puppy. Tombstone's gonna get dropped and well, here we go. Onto Puppy. They'll be able to burst it down S4 there with very nice Sonic Wave onto three. Artizi's in the fight as well. There's gonna be backup coming in for Zai. There's gonna be the snowball forward onto the spirit breaker. They try and bring him down here with the walls punch and a couple of right clicks. The sigil's being thrown out, and Zai's been able to find the kill. Now can Zai get himself out of there? There's the backup, the heals from Puppy, the shallow grave as well. It's gonna be enough. Aggressive, he's in a lot of trouble as well. Be able to remnant out. Shiki, can he escape? Blink 4 from S4, trying to catch out this TA. Puppy trying to get close and personal. Has got any points in Poison Touch. So it looks like Shiki will be able to get away. But again, we saw C-Dex send everybody down there. Secret Man. responded, and no one died on the side of the Radiant. They took a 4 versus 5 versus Undying with Tombstone. Who would have thought about that? <laughs> and meanwhile, Takis. look, he's setting a base. Like, I'm, I'm making a new home here, guys. I'm chilling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, I mean, yeah, good luck trying to get into the uh, into the uh, jungle for some safe farming on the side of C deck. We'll have to keep a close eye on these mines because, uh, well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's hard. Is there any way to tell how many mines he's actually placed when he's stacked them perfectly uh, as a spectator? Should have asked Wagga that. <laughs> Yeah, Wagger's the expert on this one. But uh, as we can see from the graphical glitch, he's certainly stacking them up here. Uh, basically, you're dead if you got those steps. You're going to die if you're on the side of c -Dex. So they they got to be careful when it comes to that. 13 to the 9 at the moment for the side of Secret. How's the graph doing? Looking pretty healthy for the Radiant. Coming up to 3k, 4k in terms of the goal as well. And Zai, well, he's ready for a bit of snowball action. Potentially throws out the ice shards out. Kuroki's going to tee some. Oh, c Dex's going to look for the PL. And they've found him. He's going to doppelganger himself away. Can they chase this down? Remnant forward here on Tartizi. We've only the one point in doppelganger. It's a very, very long cooldown. But the backup's there from Zai. He has got the snowball. He's going to get bashed away to the sidelines. XZ looking for the bashes. Now the snowball comes in. He's going to be able to pick up Artizi on the way back. And now with the TP from S4. Can they turn this one around? They've lost Artor here on the PL. But they're taking down the Spirit Breaker. They're looking for aggressive as well. He's out of mana. She can just try to fight up with this one. But now Puppy's coming in as well with a weave onto the entirety of the side of C deck. Shiki trying to go up against the side, but with the armor. Laguna Blaze come out as well. It's just not enough damage. The Fiery Dragon Slave will be enough to bring him down. So it's a two for one favor in the side of C deck. Now it's a question of whether C deck can get themselves out of here. Kuroki coming in with the right click. So now Puppy with a heal bomb as well. They'll be able to take down the TA. S4 looking to chase for more potential. He's got a dagger in a couple of seconds. Probably doesn't want to dive this tier one here. But it does end up a two for two there between the sides. And so, you know, C deck being able to take down the RTZPL. Yeah, that's not too bad for them at all. Uh, it was two for two, but I still feel like Secret somehow still got a better trade because of the lineup. Like, see, yeah, they have the yeah. stronger early game lineup, and being able to trade evenly against the Dutch and Spirit Breaker early on is fantastic for them.
Ooh, there was a charge there coming in from Mr. XZ, but he does cancel it. Doesn't want to quite go straight in onto and secret. And like just, Kuroki. Just look at Kuroki's net yeah. buff. <laughs> oh, God, let's have a look. How's he doing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. Not bad for a, a good old techie that's just been chilling out in a jungle and placing down mines. 4K uh, at the moment on him. He's, he's got more than the position one, uh, indeed, on the side of Cedar. There's two remote Ooh. mines behind Amber. Oh! Oh. oh. Okay. No. <laughs> is he remnant away? Did manage to get that remnant out? Wait, where'd he go? Ah, oh, there's a blooming perfect world uh, he didn't. He didn't connect though. I, I uh. think he probably might have died, I'm not sure. It was level 6 for both mines. I uh, know, what, he, would have, two he would have lived, he would have lived, yeah. He had 500 HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would have, yeah. It would have been close. Oh boy. It's 450 magic damage after reduction, so he would have lived regardless, but it was a cute play there with the sonic wave. I mean... The question is, how will C-Deck ever be able to push into this lineup? I mean, well, mid lane aggressive, he's come back for a bit of farm. He could be in trouble here as well, though, as RTZ and Kuroki. Double Venom. Look, yeah, this guy's, this guy's going to die. Yeah, there, there we go. The Flame God's going to help him a little bit, but the right clicks are too much. His S4 blinks forward as well. I was clean that one up. That's going to be Amber Spirit coming uh, coming down. And this this tech is with the other Venom doing what? <laughs> Indeed, the slow there paying off for the side. Finding them another. How, how's he doing in terms of kills and assists? Yeah, six for four at the moment. This Kuroki tech is, I tell you what, it, you got to be aware of this if you're playing against the side of secrets. Uh, the little kind of fun wild card that they pick out, and it's certainly working this game as they're putting the pressure on it in the mid lane. Shiki coming out, needs to be careful. RTC just getting the lances out to get those illusions out and available so they can continue the push. Zai here on the sidelines, thinking about a snowball. There'll be a charge onto Puppy oh, heads no. up to the high mines. ground. The mines, indeed. The remote mines are there. When are they going to be used? There they go, bringing Exy down very, very low. They'll be able to bring him down with the screen from S4. The weaves come down the middle of the fight. RTC's been able to, well, he's trying to take down this tombstone. It is still up. It is still up. They haven't there taken down the tombstone. Puppy getting low. Now the tombstone will fall. RTC's trying to fight for it's a three for one so far. They're looking to clean up more here. Zai and S4 going in onto the aggressive Ember Spirit. They should be able to find the kill here. They certainly will. It's only the TA living, but now the slow from Arteezy with his lances going forward. He has melded up, and they don't actually have any vision by the looks of it. So Shiki's actually going to be okay here for the time being. The tower's not. Well, actually, oh, he tries to walk out of this one. That was a bit of a mistake. Gets himself low again, realizes, okay, better stay in the cover of this mound. Now we'll come out here, trying to escape here with a refraction. Zai here with the war punch, getting the slow. There's going to be a charge from X onto S4, the trap slow as well. Exe will be trapped up by the ice shards, but they've lost the tier two in the mid lane. They that was a pretty bad fight for the side of C deck going four for one there at the end of that one. And well, 16 minutes in, 20 for 13. I'm um, at Team Secret Winter. They're, they're pretty good at Dota. <laughs> All I can say is C deck's saving grace right now is the Roshan. They need to try and get the Roshan with the TA. That's like about one of the few last moves they are left with right now. If they can't take the Roshan, I think the game is over for them, more or less. Well, oh, Tizi smoked up. Yeah, uh, he's gonna give this a go here, Man. tanking up with the illusions. And they know this is Cedex's last play though, so they if they jack it away from Cedex, then they don't have any plays left. Mid lane, there's gonna be a charge onto Zai. He's been kind of caught in his own. There is the backup of S4 coming in here. He's got the ultimate, we'll find it onto three. Bringing them very, very low. XZ will get taken down as well, but the ice shards being thrown out by Zai. And Zai, <laughs> that was, he's fine. That was 3v5. Okay, maybe even, <laughs> maybe 2v5 because you can't really count techies as a hero there. And oh man, and at the same far, time. That's look. how far behind they are. <laughs> Halfway through Roshan as well. Puppy with his medallion helping out, and RTZ just with the right clicks with the punches. Oh, this is good. C-Deck coming into the pit here. This would be very nice for the side, but the question is, are they going to go for it? I mean, RTZ is incredibly low here. They don't have any... They don't have a TA trap in the Rosh pit. Damn. I mean, they, see, if C-Deck jump in now, it would okay. be there's your trap, they, but it's too late. PL's already they, got the ages. They, need, they needed to have the trap a lot earlier. Like every time you have TA, you need to have a trap in the Roche pit. And I mean, look, RTZ back up to the top lane with his boots to travel. He's he's good to go. Net worth for the side of Secret looking pretty crazy. Let's have a look at the graphs. It's coming up to 10k in terms of XP over 10k in terms of gold. Oh, Zai is getting charged. Oh, indeed. S4 trying to help turn it around. Those Zai's pretty tanky here on this Tusk. There's going to be a snowball forward onto Aggressive. Aggressive on the Ember Spirit will go down. Laguna Blade flying out from uh, from Q, but it's not enough to bring down Zai. So one for nothing trade favoring the side of Secret. They might find S4. Indeed, they will here with a charge to cancel the TP. Kuroki will suicide here as he realizes there's no other way out. So I end up being pretty good here. Zai just juking this one out with the Shadow Blade. Essentially, has been dropped, but Zai is already out of there. 
and he should be able to get they himself still away. Have oh, they still they see him. He's dead. He's definitely dead. And indeed, they've got the AOE effects from, uh, of course, Lena's spells, and yeah, the right click flies through as well. So nicely cleaned up there by the side of C deck, finding themselves uh, a couple of big heroes in return for losing the Amber Spirit. Yeah, they couldn't. They had two heroes like really low, the Dazzle and the and the PL, so they couldn't fight with the full team, and C deck took advantage of that. Oh. I mean, oh, wins at this point. For C, what's the plan for C deck? What do they do? They need to just play it safe, look to try and get the farm on the Ember Spirit, take it late, or yeah. I, but chat you're wheel. doing it against the PL. It, chat wheel. I mean, go to your chat wheel, give me his heart. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much at this point. I'm C deck. Yeah. They are they're certainly struggling. They have and to play for the late game, like get yeah. items. I think their best bet is like okay, oh. the the bombs just now, the mines just now. Yeah, we were we were counting the mines, but apparently it was like four to five. I saw explosions there. Oh boy, I mean that that's getting killed by techies like that, it's never nice. And Kuroki, he's I bet he's having a great I bet he's smiling here. You can just imagine his cheeky little face having a nice little smile this game. Seven kills, six assists. I, 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 I think secret they they certainly know what they're doing this game and C Deck. I think they're just trying to work it out at the moment. There's gonna be a smoke up from Secret as well here. Maybe looking to try and find a pick off from the side of C Deck. Now the question is where do they go? We've got three heroes on the side of C Deck here in the die jungle. Guard is out on his own here on the Undying. Looks like Secret went ahead towards the mid lane and Oh XZ. XZ, I think he, he could be a dead Z here with the Warrus Punch. The dagger coming out as well. He's been silenced up also by S4 with that Orchid. That's gonna be a quick and easy kill there for the side of S4. Uh, side of Secret, side of S4. <laughs> So oh, I don't know what's it's technically his team anyway. It, well, it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's it, it's S4. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the whole team doing doing so much this game, and well, maybe C Deck can still bring this one back. They they have a desolator on the TA right now, so okay, he's like 300, uh, 400 short. So I mean, that's a good start. Getting something like this, getting a damage item on a TA, and Ember is nowhere near any items, unfortunately. Oh, well, he really isn't, is he? This is, yeah, 20 minutes in, 44 CS. He has died eight times. It's not been the best of games here for aggressive, unfortunately, for the side of C-Deck. And it looks like C-Deck might lose this tier two in the top tower as well as RTZ and Puppy. They pile on the pressure. There's not going to be any kind of reaction from C-Deck at this point. And that'll be the second tier two going down on this side of the map. The side of C-Deck only yet to just take the tier one from the bottom lane from the side of Secret. It's, and indeed, as you said, as the chat wheel rings out, game is certainly hard here for C-Deck. Uh, they have to hold the game for a marginally long time until the Ember has at least one, uh, at least two items, I guess, before they have any chance. But right now, none of their heroes have any items apart from the TA. And TA against this lineup, he can't really do this alone. He needs help because TA can't deal with Phantom Lancer. The Cyberpunk don't work on Illusions, so that's that's sad for him. Indeed, I mean, yeah, in terms of clearing out the Illusions, I guess, I guess the slight fist, but of course, as you're saying, Ember Spirit still a very very far way off of picking up his first big item whether it be battle of fury or not it's i mean rts he's pretty he's got a diffusal blade now and i mean pl's damage output increases like tenfold when the diffusal comes out yeah it's just like spectre getting the radiance the hero yeah. becomes exponentially stronger <laughs> it's the same thing <laughs> so this probably might be the last fight if they lose this fight i i wouldn't even be surprised if they call the game if they lose this fight and let's see here, they smoked up the side of C-Deck, they want to try and get a good jump here onto Secret. So they he's just been popped down. They need just to blow someone with the Laguna right away. I mean, yeah, who do you look to pick off first in these fights? Who are you ideally the prepared dazzle, to down? I guess, the Dazzle, I guess. Yeah. Because he's going to save everyone else. Okay, okay. But he's like going to be very far back, so it's not going to be easy getting there. Oh, that's easy. Just going straight in here with the Lance on to the TA. XZ on the sidelines, looking for the charge in the mines. Have already been started to lay, been laid down by Kuroki. He's preparing for this fight here in full force. He's ready to blow the side of C deck the hell up. And XZ still waiting for the call from the side of C deck, still waiting for the go ahead. But C deck, they, they just don't want to jump in this. Weave's already on the mess. Force actually found XZ here. XZ pops the blade mail. We'll charge in onto the side of Secret onto RTZ. They want to fight here. The snowballs come out though from Secret. Zai going straight in. They've lost the Undying. The Kuroki's used himself here. He's gone down with the suicide. Undying will buy back for this fight. And now they're going on to Shiki. He's out of mana. Light Strike Array does catch RTZ. And there's your Laguna Blade. But the Shallow Grave is there in time. And now with the Doppelganger out to the high ground, RTZ will be able to TP himself out of this fight. And it looks like everyone else on the side of Secret will be able to get away as well. well 
side wants to go in here. Stroud, so you do you. Uh, sorry, Q here with S4 blinking in as well. They take down the Lena. Maybe they can find aggressive as well. Very nice life is to see Chase holding back Zai. But S4 here with the Orchid and the burst damage onto aggressive. Now with the punches from Zai, it is enough. It's a double kill for Zai here on the Tusk. He looks to be in trouble though with the charge coming through. Shiki has got this Desolator and it is enough damage as TA does bring down the Tusk. But C Deck did lose a few there. But oh, that C Deck, for considering the position they're in, they did all right in that fight. Yeah, they did a good job, honestly, in being so far behind. They just. They were supposed to get at least two kills, but there was a very good TP out with the doppelganger by RTZ, otherwise he would have still died. So, I mean, all in all, they lost two heroes, yes, but I still think they did really well, like you said. Indeed, and uh, well, 27 to 18, we'll see the graph in a minute when that picks up. I'm sure we'll see a little bit of a swing, but still very much in control of the side of Secret now, with the net worth hovering around the 14,000 advantage for the side. Kroki with a four stuff with the uh, Void Stone as well, potentially looking for that Yule Scepter as such if he wants to go for it this game. But things looking very healthy in terms of net worth, especially for the individual heroes as well. We're seeing some big plays from Zai in these team fights also, and he's closing in on that, uh, well, Desolator for the Tusk he's opting for, and uh, it's just uh, halfway towards his final Mithra Hammer of the Dessa. This is like some carry Tusk item build already. Oh, oh, oh he like almost fast stuff into the mines. <laughs> he was looking for a cheeky play, didn't find it. Zai's coming in there, look at these punches, they're just too much for Q. Q will go down. And now Shiki, he wants to try and find the return kill onto the Tusk. Zai, he hasn't got a snowball, of course, as he's just used. He could be in trouble here, we'll try and pull charge himself forward. The slight for Siri Chain's combo and the right click. Coming from Shiki, finding the double kill there for the TA. I mean, this this is very nice yeah, for the lane. side of C-Deck. These are big they're kills indeed. In. Bottom lane, they're going in. Oh, yeah. the charge. Oh, see, he's charging right past it. He's going to get silenced up as well. It's going to be the heal bomb doing a fair bit of damage now with the burst from the ultimate of Queen of Pain. The damage from the soul burn on the Orchid does tick him down. RTZ might want to get himself out of here. He's a little bit low on mana. He could try and go back in here. Shiki finding up against the illusion, but now Shiki's totally out of mana. And RTZ wants to go back in. Lance forward on to Shiki. There's going to be the burst from S4 here and the dagger slow as well. Decay from the sidelines. We will catch up. Oh, Shiki got her. The mines are there. They'll come off. They catch all three. That's going to be the TA down. Lena falls as well. Garda, he's the only one to survive. Arteezy double ganger forward with a defusal blade charge slowing him down. They take down the Undying. It's going to be a double kill for Arteezy. And, oh, secret. And uh, they say to C-Deck, oh, you've had a couple of nice fights. We're not happy with that. And then they, that just Kuroki with these mines. They were not expecting that, C-Deck. Uh, those mines were MEP. They, they were yeah. there from the last fight. <laughs> oh, man. Oh boy. Now now to the high ground. Tusk has got his completed Desolator here. They'll look to try and take a tier 3 from the side of C-Deck. The Undying can't buy back. TA just have buyback available, but probably won't want to be expanding it at this point. There's going to be a defensive weave pop down by Puppy, just allowing them to stay on the high ground, ensuring that the Slight of Fist does pretty much nothing, especially with the fact that Amber Spray and Item Whites has nothing on board. Puppy's going to get charged up. He's a little bit lower mana here as well, and with the Bash, he's holding him back. Dazzle, he will be at Shallow Grave. He's looking for the TP. Wait, oh no, the Light Strike Array is going to be there to cancel the channel. Puppy will fall here. It'll be the sacrificial lamb. The rest of the side of secret do get themselves back oh, out. No. And Kuroki already, look, he's setting up base in. <laughs> so S4 just going in with the Orchid and the Dagger onto TA. I mean, C-Deck, they, they don't want to be coming up this hill. <laughs> they really don't. You can't just walk up any high ground against that case without vision. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Oh, cheeky. Don't do it, cheeky. Cheeky. Nah, he's fine. Okay, they've, 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 they know that they're there. The sentry's been popped down and yeah, it does catch them all on the on the very tip of it though. But uh, nicely de de bombed there by C deck. Man, this is the sort of game where you can't even afford a gem against the deck. It's just it's just so difficult to play. It really, really is. And uh, well, now Roshan's back up, and obviously with the death so on Zai, the side of Secret could very easily look to do that. They do, of course, have a fair bit of right click damage on the side of C deck, and and they'll certainly want to contest the Roshan if Secret end up going for it. Okay, there goes the trap, so they have vision on, they have eyes on the Roshan. But getting there is the next big problem for c -Dak. And let's have a look. Secret themselves. s is pretty happy with how the game's going. BKB has the plate mail as well now on top of the Orchid. And uh, Kuroki, of course, having a fine old time on the techies with his Yule Scepter now complete as well. This is, this is a very impressive techies game for K-God. Oh. Enemy has so many melee heroes, it's really nice to be Takis when they can't uh, they can't demine you without getting close. But it's gonna be a, a smoke attempt from- Oh, they walked past the bomb! 
And Dean Secret, they're going to know. The jig is up for the side of C Deck. Well, they're trying to find this one doppelganger. They're dodging the right click for Shiki. And now they're going in here with a sonic wave onto the wall. S4 on a killing spree. Shiki goes down as well. It's a three for nothing. The side of Secret looks to clean up as a triple kill for Arteezy. And Xy calls GG. 28 minutes in, 37 to 22. Secret take the game with the Techies Kuroki and Winter. Secret, they're, they're storming through this group stage. Four for zero. They take down every team. And, I mean, we saw them take the victory at the summit. And they're certainly looking in a good position to give it their best shot here at the Mars Dota League. And yeah, this is the sort of game where you lose. And